Hey guys, welcome to the first ever Simply Safeo Cinema Score, where we, well, we review movies and stuff. I mean, we're starting on a movie that we really like, known as Deadpool and Wolverine, which is currently gaining all the hype on the online stratosphere. But without any further ado, let's get into this review. <laughs> this is also a non-spoiler review. A spoiler review will be coming out in a couple days. So look forward to that. Sub to see that if you guys, and also let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoy this kind of video. Anyways, let's get into it. Finally, after all these years of the MCU producing nothing but absolute garbage, the MCU has birthed out of its magical, marvelous, mystical birthing canal a gem. They have found a diamond in the rough, and that diamond is Deadpool and Wolverine. The most anticipated movie of the year, and possibly the greatest MCU comic book movie ever. The film portrays both Deadpool and Wolverine in a much more comic book accurate way. Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool is, as you expect, always funny and entertaining to watch, but Hugh Jackman as Wolverine in his comic costume was pretty gangster. The way they utilized Wolverine's fighting style and super strength in this film has been the best depiction in live action till this day, and I'm a major Wolverine fan and I have seen every Wolverine live action and pretty much every Wolverine animation, and I've read pretty much all the Wolverine comics. But this was the best depiction in live action I have seen till this day. The film had a very simple plot, kind of like a typical buddy cop film, but in a comic book world. The plot, even though simple, is engaging enough to keep you invested in the story. The acting was definitely S tier, and I still think Hugh Jackman gave a better performance in Logan, but that is neither here nor there, as I do not want to take anything away from his performance in this because he's the Wolverine, and he's the best there is of what he does, bub. <laughs> My name is Wolverine. I'm the best there is at what I do. <sighs> if you enjoy the previous Deadpool movies comedy, you will definitely enjoy the humor in this third installment. All in all, it is a movie worth seeing, if not only to see the long-awaited Hugh Jackman in his yellow spandex, and for the laughs overall, it is a great movie, and recommend you see it. Also, if you feel like the MCU has been producing quantity and not quality, and are starting to have superhero movie fatigue, Deadpool and Wolverine is an excellent refresher. Fresh start. Maybe we should... Uh call ourselves the Febreze brothers because it's feeling so fresh right now. To remind us of an MCU we could have, an MCU we deserve, and an MCU that we should have had from the start. And this film reignites the fire of hope that the future MCU projects will be promising. Now since this is a non-spoiler review, I will give it 6 ratings out of 5 for a total of 30 points. Even though I am a major Marvel fan, a major Wolverine fan, a major Deadpool fan, I looked at this movie and this review from a completely unbiased point of view. Well, I tried to anyway. Anything with Wolverine I'm a fan of, so I can't really hate on it too much. But I tried to give it as unbiased of an opinion as I can. And I'll give a more unbiased opinion in my spoiler review. I guess that's what they're called. Well, the normal review anyways, but... Yeah, and uh, hopefully we do more of these because I really enjoy doing these movie reviews and I love movie reviews. And I The categories are for acting, plot and story, sound of, uh, well, soundtrack, score, SFX, all that, CGI, entertainment value and the woke agenda. So for acting, we're going to give it 4 out of 5. For the story plot, it was running a little thin, but we could have been better. We're going to give it a 3 out of 5. For the soundtrack and the score... 4 out of 5. That was an excellent soundtrack. CGI, 4 out of 5. Excellent CGI. Entertainment value, 4 out of 5. Excellent entertainment value. Woke Agenda, this was surprising to me, 1 out of 5, guys. In a Disney Marvel movie in the MCU, which is quite crazy looking at their track record with the MCU and all that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways... So the final Simply Safe Cinema score equals to 19 out of 30. I know it's not the highest score and it's not the lowest score yet, but it is actually, no, it is the highest and the lowest score simultaneously right now because it, is, because it is the only score. But anyways, and I'm sorry if this isn't a great review. Hopefully the next one I do will be more structured and I'll have done more research. Yeah, on. Sure. I'm going to have to run some tests. Mr. 
Murphy, do you remember what I was supposed to be doing? How to do reviews, like what key beats to hit and all of that kind of stuff. But if you enjoyed, let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to see more, let me know. What movies would you like me to review? New or old? I am a major movie buff and love anything to do with movies. Anyways, I've been Simply Safo, and I'm just trying to make the world a better place through the art of entertainment. And if you want to help make the world a better place, hit that sub button. Let's fucking go!